Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We're going to be continuing the Eden streak today. We are at 14 in a row. And we're about to do run number 15. 15? Well, 14? Eden? Hard? Let's get going. Very nice. So, um, as I say every couple of videos, um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we've got dinner again. I I'm certain we've got that before. Um, and then the, uh, the Rotten Heart. Pretty cool. Three hearts start. Seed is JFZW616Z. Let's get going. Good fire rate. Low damage. Should be alright. Not bad. Um, so yeah, as I was just about to say before I, uh, I, you know, I, I forgot that we had items. Could you believe that? Um, but yeah, we are now at 220 subscribers as of reaching this video, as of recording. Um, and this is also the final video before, uh, I, I'm not going to be recording for one whole day, so videos are going to be behind by, well not really behind, but ahead by one day less than they usually would be, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, instead of it being like a, a three day gap, it will be a two day gap. I'm going to lose a day, so I'm going to have to record an extra one, because I'm going for a meal tomorrow, which is three days ago, <laughs> I guess. Time is very confusing when recording these videos, um, as you would expect, because it's my birthday. So yeah, there you go. Um, and this is also the April 1st video. I can assure you there is nothing odd about this video, okay? I'll, I'll just say it now. There's nothing foolsy or pranky about this video. I, I don't really do it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just just remember that. Um, so if I die, it, it's not clickbait, okay? If, if today is the death video, it was not clickbait. It, it, it actually happened. Um, <laughs> so who knows? Who knows? I hope today we don't die. Because uh, we got a little bit close last time. A little bit close. Wasn't a huge fan of the way um, yesterday's run ended. I, I wish it ended a little bit nicer. In the way it did, but, you know, things happen. Alright, so yeah, the low damage is, is going to be a bit of a pain to start with, um, but I, I, I think we can pull it back. The the high fire rate kind of makes up for it, I guess. Um, but yeah, the items we've got so far, dinner, it's literally just a health up. Uh, nothing, nothing about it is special. Um, we've got the Rotten Heart, which every time you use it will give you a Rotten Heart, which will then spawn a fly, I believe, every room that you have that Rotten Heart. And, um, annoyingly, Rotten Hearts count as half of a heart and not one full heart. So using it on sac rooms or whatever will get rid of the entire Rotten Heart and half of the soul heart, oh, uh, and half of a heart on top of that. So, really, it's not very good. I don't know why they've made Rotten Hearts like that. It's kind of dumb. They should really be worth, you know, one full heart. So, um, if I were to use it now, it would literally just, you know, start cutting my health down into small bits. So, I don't really want to use this. Um, but, you know, it, it, it could be handy for, um, like, let's say we've got a curse room or, a, a, you know, a sack room or something. We could make use of that. Which we have none. Uh, wow, well, okay. That was not good. There we go. Yeah, I'm surprised. We don't have a sack room or a curse room. We don't have any bombs or any keys, so we can't even go into the library on this floor. Um, not enough money. Yeah, pretty diabolical floor if you ask me. Uh. Jeez, he's a bit quick. I'm glad we've got uh, the sticky sack, which will slow him down a little bit. You never know, that item may very well... Ugh. I want to say save the run, but it's not looking good right about now. Got to keep a little bit more distance than we uh, we currently are. This guy's dangerous with uh, with this this build right here. Yikes! Yeah, that was really dangerous. Uh, I'm glad we got the speed up though. That's that's really big actually. Um, considering we were too slow for that room. Um, yeah, we honestly, if we didn't pick up that sticky sack, we would 
probably have died there. There's like nothing I could have done. Wow. Okay. Tricky start, but we're, we're managing. Um, let's just move on. There's literally nothing we can do with this floor. Unfortunate start. Um, I actually saw on Reddit the other day... Wow, another library. I actually saw on Reddit the other day um, of a seed that you can play as with Eden that is literally impossible. Um, it's a seed that starts you off with experimental treatment and the stats that you get from it, because it's all seeded, right? It means it will give you the same stat down. Um, the stats with experimental treatment gave you such a large stat down that it was literally impossible to beat the first boss because the first boss kept regenning health. Um, it was like a champion version of Ragman that was like regenning health. So you were dealing such a small amount of damage that you, you know, you couldn't, you know, he was regenning faster than you were dealing damage to him. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure it was like, what, Tiny Planet in the first item room or whatever, and there just wasn't anything else helpful there, so... Um, you never know. I, I, I don't want to jinx it, but you could always just get a seed like that, which is really bad. Um, I never really thought about experimental treatment starts um, and how they could actually literally be awful. But uh, yeah, I saw a, a video on Reddit about that. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit spooky. We're okay though at the moment. Um, question, do we go for the top secret here, or do we move this into these, these, uh, pots there? I'll make my mind up. I'll make my mind up. Alright. Let's see. There we go. What about you? Nice, we actually have some bombs now. Great. We have some some ability. We can use some consumables now. Uh, let's just sneak through here. Okay, that's really good. The soul heart. We'll wait on that. Because uh, I would like to go into the curse room. Ow. Do you have any spare health on the floor? We do. We, we should be okay. Uh, we could actually bomb into the shop as well. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, we'll wait on that though. Can we access this heart? We can. Cool. So I'll use this now. And not walk on that spike. That would be bad. Alright, let's go. Okay, nothing in here. Uh, fair enough. You never know. Could have been something really good in there. Ooh. Speaking of. This could be interesting. Telescopic lens. It gives you a higher planetarium chance. I believe it's by like 10%. Something like that. Let's do it. We'll go for planetarium. Why not? And uh, I think I will check for the top secret here. It's unlikely, but it, it, it could be. Like what a one in... Three chance, I think. Okay. Well, it wasn't. Um, probably to, like above the room next to the boss or below it. One of those two. Well, not below it, but to the right of it. One or the other. Okay. Um, let's check our shop now. There's a key. I might buy it. Ooh. I think I know what I'm going to take. I'm going to take Tarot Cloth. That's really good. Doubles the effect of cards. Um, so we'll do that. That. Okay, that wasn't so good. Let's see. Yeah, can't get in our item room either. Hmm. Looks like planetariums are going to be... Uh, Gonna be a thing we get sooner rather than later, I guess. Uh, yeah, that top secret room's got to be to the right then. It has to be. Let's check the boss first, though. Okay. 
Okay, we got champion pin. Playing this a little bit carefully at the moment, because uh, I know I feel kind of weak at the moment in this game. Just, just a little bit. There we go. Cool. Um, a little damage up. You know what? We've been taking angel rooms for the past few runs. Let's at least have a look. Mm, I really like that on the left. It's a bit risky. We've double our firepower though. I'm going to do it. I don't usually play like this, but I think I have to. A little bit risky. Nothing else on this floor really. Uh, we'll check... Check our top secret room, which should be here. Okay, it's not. Um, only other place really could have been to the left of of the room above our secret room. Yeah, that's the only other place really it could be. All right, let's move on. I I feel a little bit a little bit spooked taking that. You maybe shouldn't have taken it, but it is going to help with our firepower. Oof. I really do not want to get hit. <laughs> We're at very low health. Very risky territory right here. Been being a little bit risky today. We have quite a bit of range though, so let me, I'm going to use that to my advantage. You know, stay far away from the enemies if I'm able to. Shoot from afar. go. A little bit risky. It's not a move I would usually do. Um, you know, take take that big of a risk, but I don't know. That, that first boss battle we took out, took on, kind of spooked me, because, you know, we weren't strong enough for that fight. Um, yeah. It spooked. Oof. Okay. I want to play very, very carefully. Please give me some sort of key game. <laughs> we haven't been in a single item room yet, I'm pretty sure. Well, apart from the first one. We got the, uh, the sack, but... Sticky sack, but... We had, like, nothing. Game's been really mean with the consumables today. Yeah, just money. Haven't had a single bomb or a key yet, I'm pretty sure. Well, we've had a couple of bombs, but no keys. I'm fairly certain. Um, okay. Really nothing game. Wow. What is with this game today? Being super mean. <laughs> what is this? Are you okay, game? You you, you feeling all right? There's that planetarium, which I can't get into because I don't have any keys. Okay, we we actually have the speed now to uh to complete this this room, which is good. That's kind of what I was afraid of. We'd get a room like this. And if we uh, still had the firepower from floor one, you know, we wouldn't have been able to deal enough damage to those things. Um, yeah, I can't open this. Oh my god. This game. <laughs> no keys. For like three floors, essentially. You uh, know, very, very mean. I hope we can only get a latch key for our item in the boss. That'd be perfect right about now.
Yeah, I'm having to play very carefully. The game is just not giving us anything right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't go into our shop. Can't go into our item room. Can't go into a planetarium because we just don't have any keys. This is uh, really bad. <laughs> I don't think I've had it this bad. This is really weird. It's like, it's just nothing. Really strange. You don't get the game this dry. This game's drier than a desert right now. I'm going to take these bone dudes out as fast as I can. Kind of prioritize those, because they're going to cause me some problems if I don't take them out quick. And it's another champion boss as well. Okay, this is this is good. I can deal with that. Yeah, damage up and, and some bombs. I like that. Um, What can we do with this? Can we get this key? We can. Yeah. Gotta do it. Now the question is, what do we spend our key on? I'm kind of thinking planetarium. Do we, we go for the risk? Uh, I mean, Luna's good, but we gotta get into secret rooms for that. So for it to be of any use... Um, at least it'll tell us where they are. Okay. Oh, just money. I, I want keys. Give me keys, game. Uh, gave me a soul heart, though, at, at least. That's, that's kind of good. But wow. Yeah, this game is weird. <laughs> what is this? Has anyone else ever had this? Just nothing. It's really, really weird. Alright, I guess we go to the next floor. Uh, still no keys or, or bombs or anything. Sack. Oh. Oh, some keys. I never thought I'd... I'd love to see a key that much. If we were going to the mother route, we would probably have been screwed. <laughs> it's so weird. This hasn't given me anything to work with. Gonna play very carefully still. I, I still feel very weak being at this health. Like, you know, I'm glad we have Incubus and it was a risk. Oh, that's pretty big. Pyromaniac. Okay, so it gives us five bombs. That's probably the best part about it, if I'm being honest at the moment. And it also gives us explosion immunity. So, you know, if we get like an Ipecac, we could take that. And, uh, it, you know, it'd do us really good. Kind of hoping for Ipecac now. Okay, extra little soul heart heartage right there. Ooh, I think this is the pick, hollow heart. I think we got to. This is interesting. I'll take this. Um, and I think honestly now is the time we just swap it for remote detonator. Remote detonator will give us another five bombs anyway. And let's just control our bomb explosions. So I think that's the better pick. We've already had a planetarium. We don't need another one. I don't even know if you can get another one. Pretty sure you can. Just unlikely. So yeah, Dice Shard will effectively use a D20 and a D6 for the room. So we'd be, we'd be best saving it for something that we want to reroll. Another key. Game's been a little bit nicer now. 
Um, I'm pretty sure Hollow Heart gives us some bone hearts somehow. I don't remember if it's like upon floor entering. Um, whether it just makes them more common, I, I don't really remember. I know it's to do with bone hearts though. And honestly, anything to do with health is a friend of mine right now. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, let's go and explore the rest of the floor before taking on the boss. Yeah, spooky run. Spooky run. I thought uh, yesterday's run got a little bit spooky at the end, but now I've come across this one. <laughs> oh, another one. Okay, all right, all right, game, okay. Second planetarium. You know what, maybe, maybe, maybe that trinket was a good choice. Uh, Pluto, I was gonna say Aquarius for a second, but yeah, Pluto's okay. It's, it's not bad, it's, it's just all right. I thought it was Aquarius. But no, Pluto, it's a weird one. Pluto's good, but it does make you harder to see. So it's kind of a mix of between good and bad. Um, I don't know. It's not good, but it's not bad. Got caught on the rock. Luckily it didn't hurt me. Uh, honestly, yeah, I'll just take a health up. We could have rolled it with Dice Shard, but honestly I just want the health at this point. Um, let's move on. Like, yeah, we could have kept telescopic lens for even more. <laughs> even more, but, uh, honestly, I... Yeah, there you go. That's that's what it does. It gives you a bone heart at the start of each floor. Brittle bones. Which is, uh, pretty good, I would say. Definitely a trinket I will keep. There we go. Ooh, interesting. Wooden nickel. Every time it recharges once per room, and uh, every time you use it, it, gives you a 50 50 chance of getting a coin. Not bad. There you go. Okay, this is this is going okay now. We're, we've got. A source of getting health. We have some way of obtaining health now. So I'm I'm happy with that. Whoa. That was my bad. Nice. Filled that bone heart up a little bit. It's weird, the first floor gave us loads and loads of heart drops, but with nowhere to use it. And pretty much the entirety of the second and third floor, we just didn't get really any consumables. It's not a very nice room. Okay, alright. Uh, don't really want that. Oh, Whew. <laughs> well, that was a skilled maneuver. Wow, that was like the Matrix right there, the bullet dodging scene. That was close. Okay, this is good. Uh, I'm pretty sure the coin can't go bet like behind these rocks because there's already a chest on that tile. Ugh. Go on then, that bean. It's not great, but you know, it's an item that could possibly help, I guess. Whenever you deal contact damage with enemies, it'll uh, give you like a fart attack, which will um, poison enemies, I believe. But of course, it requires you to get hit for it to work, so it's not like, it's not particularly great. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, that's good. I would like that. We do not have a key to get in, though. One for one is always worth it, apart from that one. Because <laughs> you could very well miss your shot. No key. Alright. I would very much like to get into my shop, <laughs> but I can't. Why is this game like this? What what is what is wrong with the game? Is the game feeling all right today? I think the game's poorly. The game's sick. Oh, there's a key. Okay, well, let's go into our shop now. Hopefully there's like a, I don't know, so, some sort of good item in there or, I don't know, some way of getting another key. <laughs> That'd be great right about now. Just one more key. Ugh. I mean, the ladder's not bad, but... Um... Ladder's not bad. Probably do better there. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, okay. Okay, um, this could be good. Where do we put it, though? The present. We could probably put it in a boss room and get another boss room item, which could be really good, actually. I think that's probably the play. We'll do this, though, first. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll take present. We could either put it in here... Or you could put it in a secret room. There's another really good place to put it. This is a pretty annoying boss. Too bad we can't fly, otherwise I would use the left top left corner trick. I made a short about that a while ago. Essentially, if you stand in the top left corner of the screen while fighting this boss, you will not be able to get hit whatsoever. But, uh, of course, we can't fly, so we cannot... Stand over the void, over the gap there. Ow. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to go in here this time, I think. Unless we do. We'll take a look. Judas's shadow is the only interesting one, really. Um, nah, I can't do that. I couldn't do that. Judas' the shadow isn't bad. Essentially, when you die, you turn into Dark Judas, which gives you a big damage boost. But not only do we have a decent amount of health now anyway, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's not worth it. Okay, well, let's place present in here. In our boss room. I'm going to re-roll that. Speed up, I guess. I mean, that was pretty bad, if I'm honest. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've got to gotta play with the cards I'm dealt. Uh, okay, fair enough. I don't know where the top secret room could be. Could try and find it. Probably here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Alright. Cracked crown. Gives us some stats. Um, gives us quite a lot of tier rate. Not much damage whatsoever. Decent range. I think I have to take this, right? I, I understand that the other one gives us a bone heart, but... Stats are kind of what I need right now. We're, you know, we're about to head on to Depths 2 and we're only just above base damage, you know. 3.5 is just when you start with Isaac, so... 
Yeah, I kind of need some more put down power. Let's move on. This is a a very dodgy run. I, if if we make it through this alive, I'll be surprised. But you know, I I gotta do what I gotta do to survive. I will try my best. Whoa, don't know how I didn't get hit that. Ah, oh, I did that. Not even like we've got a bad like luck stat or anything like that, you know. Our luck stat is, you know, pretty decent compared to uh, to some starts we've had in as Eden in the past on season one. And we got a blind floor as well, which you know is also sucky. Um, I'm not going to go into our writing room because of that. Even though I really would like to. Oh, this room. I was thinking of bombing out, but I think, honestly, it's better just to clear the space at this point. It's better, better of a space clearer. Oh, a card! Oh, I think that's the first card we've seen this run. <laughs> Depth 2, the first card. What even is this game today? Oh my. Okay, another key. Good. Oh, this could be big. We have a secret room next to... Next to a, uh, a challenge room. That could be good. Could get a free item from that. Well, not really free, but... um, Did you just see that? <laughs> we walked into that rock. What is going on with the game today? It's broken. Did I done broke the game? I gotta take this. Okay. 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 Binky's good. Gives us a soul heart and the tears up. I understand that we are a, a very high tier right now. Higher than you can usually get. I don't know how we've quite got this tier rate. But I'm not going to complain. We are over the, uh, the limit of uh, tier cap. We're okay. We're alright, but I, I am very spooked <laughs> still. I am fearing for this run. I think I'm going to do it. Midas touch? Sure, whatever. So yeah, Midas Touch, whenever an enemy touches you, it turns gold, and when you kill it, while it's in its gold state, it will give you money. Uh, actually, yeah, we can do this in two. Just got to be very precise with the placement of it. I think that'll do all three of them. Ooh, close. Very close. You never know. Could have been soul hearts in there. It is possible to do it with three, but it's very, very precise. I usually just do um, three bombs for that room. 
Right, what we got in here? Oh, greed. Look at all this money I can't use on anything. <laughs> Ugh. Teleport card. I mean, we could use that to go into either the curse room, I guess. But we are on a blind floor, so it's not really... You know, if you see an item in there, in like a red chest, could be really risky to take. You know, it could be like, um, Curse of the Tower or whatever. The, uh, the tower item. Okay. Um... Top secret here? Yeah. Well, there's our tears up. And uh, I guess you go into the mother boss fight. Um, I'm probably going to use Empress in here, to be honest. Um, 3.68 is not good damage whatsoever. This is the time to use it. That's giving us a pretty hefty damage up. Look at that. Pretty large. Right, Polaroid. And what's in here? Ooh, it's, no, it's a two item. Do I do it? I think I do. Ocular Rift? Okay. Okay. That, that could be good, I guess. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on. Yeah, playing a little bit risky here today. A um, little bit spooky. I think Ocular Rift will help us quite a bit. As you can see, it creates like a, uh, a black hole effect on the ground in places, which will suck the enemies in and deal damage to them. And their tears as well, actually. The tears is actually a really good thing that it sucks into, because it's less chance that we're going to get hit from our own tears. And seeing as we're such a high fire rate, chances are we're going to get quite a few of them. Um... Quite a few little black holes. Okay, there's a fire rate up for the floor. That's what Luna does, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, in every secret room will be a, a little... A little beam of light in the middle. When you stand in it, you get a tears up for the floor. And of course, you see where your secret room is as well. With Luna. I, I, I have to ask, right, Twitch chat. Twitch chat? I'm not on Twitch at the moment. Um, I have to ask... Right, <laughs> it, uh, and, th and this is a common question I will I will ask. Okay, when we get a bad run, am I just playing badly, or is the game just being extremely unfair? <laughs> you know, I have to ask. Is it is it just me playing badly, or is the game just giving us a really dodgy run? That was uh, a couple of bad hits there. Yeah, besides not taking the um, the devil room, like, I don't really know how I could have played this any differently.
I am I am on edge right now. Hands a little bit sweaty. I hate that move. That's the move I'm most afraid of with this boss. It's that spike move. It's just awful. Okay, another tears up. That's not really what I wanted. You don't even get tears up for that. Oh, boy. I shouldn't have taken Ocular Rift. I should have kept the health, if I'm honest. I think that's uh, that's that's the biggest problem at the moment. That's my my issue right there. Should not have taken that. Okay, Soul of Cain. We can open a room up for free. Ugh. Maybe we should have taken Ocular Rift. That was a, that was good solve of the room. Okay, okay, unlimited bombs for the floor. That's pretty good, actually. Um. Right, well, we have a sack room, but no hearts to use. Okay, well one heart. We could play it once if we're really that insane. Okay, just looking out for tinted rocks. Um, I will blow up all the rocks anyway, just in case we get like a crawl space or something. We're at that kind of level now where I really need the game to just give me something. Just kind of looking for... Looking for uh, top secret rooms, I guess. Gonna check all these rooms again for extra rocks. Because you never know, we could have like Dry Baby in one of these rocks. It is possible. Uh, is, it, is it possible to get Dry Baby? I can't remember. Some, some, There's some item you can get from these rocks, I'm fairly certain. I don't think it's Dry Baby, that was last floor. That here? Where is the top secret room? We gotta find it. Like, we absolutely have to find this top secret room. I'm not leaving this floor without it. I hope you understand. Like, at this point, we gotta go into full. full. not really cheap. Oh! Not really full cheese mode, but <laughs> I think you can understand why now you see that. Oh. Oh, that was good. That was so good. Now, now you understand why we have to play every single floor to its absolute maximum potential.
All right, let's move on to the next floor. Um, honestly, Soul of Cain is going to be super useful for finding the top secret room. Because I don't know if you've realized, but um, any room... Like, ooh, hang on, that's flight, but I can't get to it. I need flight to get flight. Um, essentially, every room that you come across that doesn't have um, a connecting... Um, room to it will have like a glowing door meaning if we were to use soul of cain it would open that up but as you can see here like yeah like there that glowing door but some of them don't and ones that well it, there's a chance it could be a top secret room is what i'm trying to say okay latchkey would like you earlier but i'll, I'll take you because you give a soul heart soul heart and two keys and uh, all future keys that you come across will be two keys. It'll be worth two. These eyes. This is the safest point on bloat above him. Don't want to stand directly down from him, or to left or right of him. Because he can brimstone beam you there. So, uh, yeah. That's the best place for him. Above him. He can't hit you from there, directly. I hate this room. But I was lucky in the way that I could solve it. Okay, okay. If you find any poops this floor, you bet I'm going to be shooting it with that. Oh, soul heart. Huge. Huge. You might think I'm okay for health now, but honestly, it could go really wrong. I mean, you got to remember, we're still at three damage. You know, three damage is not good. We're, we're you know, I'm taking this room by room at this point. Every single room is valuable and we've got to use every single room to its advantage because uh, I'm scared <laughs> I feel like I will probably die this run I'm um, just just feeling it uh, secret room yeah there you go okay where were all of you earlier this is what I needed earlier just something like this all these consumables would have been amazing. Uh, okay, let's move on. Ah, oh, hang on a minute. There's poos. Uh, let's leave this here and we'll go back for the trinket. Could be health inside of there. just coins we don't need coins but you never know right it, it could have been health not that we need a lot more health we're okay for health really but i don't know it's just again i gotta use everything this game is giving to me it is pushing my knowledge this game pushing me Oh, we for run time. 49 minutes, okay. Alright. There's no limit or any, any, any issues with the run taking longer. It's just, uh, I don't know. I like to keep videos around an hour long. But, you know, it, hey, I mean, if the run requires me to take longer, um, there's no problem with that. I have another hour, essentially. For time, anyway. For time, I have a one one more hour. Um, a fortune. Oh, that's why I did so much damage the first time. I see. Yeah, we had it. The Empress card we used on the mother fight 
It was so much damage because cards are, card effects are double from tarot cloth. That's why. Well, that's Guppy. One part of Guppy. Is this the fool? Okay, t teleport back to the starting room. We're gonna play this as much as I can. Got uh, no other use for money, really. Okay, well this is better than, than this, if I'm honest. Crystal Ball is really good. Reverse Fool. Don't have a use for that at the moment. But Crystal Ball is really good. It'll allow you to see the full layout of the floor, and it can occasionally give you a Soul Heart as well. It's the Soul Heart I'm, I'm more interested in, really. Um, let's align these up better. That'll do. There you go. So yeah, there I'm kind of shooting him with my um, Incubus instead of me. Okay. We could play that. We could play the health machine. I think I now understand how that room works. <laughs> this one. After all this time, I understand the way to cross it. Okay, a bone heart. That's pretty good. Take that. Oh, my uh, my phone notifications are going off. Apologies for that. If you heard it. So my my thinking right is. We'll, we'll have to shoot these poos as well with the, the trinket. Um, my thinking is, we, if we play this, we should get Polaroid protection for a couple of hits. And then we go pick up health. And I think because it's a, but in a bone heart, it doesn't do anything? No, it takes away our bone heart. Okay, fair enough. I guess I, I misremembered how that worked. That's fine. So we do need one full heart to play it. Even though bone hearts only usually technically remove one. Um, well, one half a heart. Unlike sacrums and stuff, you can use a bone heart with half of a red heart in it. And it counts as a full red heart. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I couldn't see the circle. It's okay. Um, and the reason I'm playing this is because there's a chance we can get the blood bag, which is a health and speed up. So the health would be the priority, I guess. Um, yeah, we could maybe play it one more time, but honestly, I kind of don't want to. Like, we could play it again, but I think we're okay found secret rooms that secret room had flight in it I can't get flight the only cards we have are full cards um, I guess we go to the fight then boss there were those poos but realistically they're not going to give us anything useful I think The black hole doing doing its job there. How good is that? Very cool. Did really good there. What's in here? Huh. PhD. That's actually really good, evil PhD. Really, really good for us right now. Um for Polaroid protection, I guess we take this. So whenever we get hit, we get a um, temporary invincibility every hit. 
I think we're okay. Little Horn is going to do us good as well. Um, it'll make a hand sort of come out of the ground and slap enemies, and it's luck based. Um, yeah, Evil PhD could be really useful if you get some pills lying around. Yeah. We'll see. Curse of the Blind, that's okay. Okay, we got Reverse Sleep Token, the song. The movie. The movie. The official. Uh, honestly, this has been great. This has been really good. Soul of Cain. But I think this is more worth the Empress, because we could use that in a um, the Isaac fight. And get, you know, get a guaranteed win, essentially. In that fight. Not really guaranteed, but it, it'd be easier at least. That's a luck up. I saw that. I saw it. I saw it from afar. Now, in this case, if I really, really wanted to, I could have just not picked up the Polaroid. And then this would be the last floor. Like, we would not have to do the next floor. Um... Which in in this this streak it like it is allowed like sure it's eaten to chest is supposedly the streak but realistically it's just anything goes eaten realistically sort of like anything goes no matter what happens they have to just survive is essentially how I'm treating this I think there was one run in season one of the Eden Street where I actually did do that. It was such a diabolical run where I just had to had to just say no, I I can't do the chest. I have to just skip it. This is poison touch. Yeah. Okay, nice. We're doing alright, we're making this run work. It's it's been very tricky, but um we're managing it. We're doing alright. We we've, we've been playing our cards right, playing well. And um I think it's kinda of paying off now a little bit. One is a build reroll. Uh nope. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, we don't have a great build, but we're making it work, you know. I, I wouldn't want to risk re-rolling literally everything we have for potentially even worse items, you know. All the items we have at the moment are, are good in their own way. They're doing their part. So I don't want don't to ruin that. Like, yes, we could re-roll and we'd get a really powerful build. But I don't feel like risking everything for a dice roll. Sun. Okay. Well, we could do this. Just to get a free room clear. This could be good. If he gives a health up, I am going to leave it, though. Because uh, the health that would ruin our Polaroid protection. Well, can't see what the item is anyway. I'm not risking it for a health up. I didn't realise it was a blind floor. I heard the soul heart drop. Meaning we don't need to mess around with the other, the other things. Um, yeah, we can't find our top secret room now. Uh... Could be here. No. I don't really see anywhere else it could be so far. Uh, oh yeah, I know where it is. I know where it is. Two rooms to the left of this one and up one. It's diagonal to that room with the heart in. You see it. That's an obvious secret room if I've ever seen it.
there's some really like weird rules on how secret rooms can appear. Um, I don't really know the rules off by heart, but um, I know roughly what to look for. And this is this is one of the more obvious ones. So, for example, this room here is diagonal to a regular room, and that's like a pretty common place for one to be. Um... Ow. Not great. We, we'll probably go back into that room with all the uh, the, the fires in and just, just get an extra one. Not because I need to, but, you know, just because... Why not? We could, like, die by one heart. Alright. Uh, onward to the boss. We're going to use Empress straight away. Right, here we go. Very nice. Very cool. Uh, let's go. I'm going to use Crystal Ball on the first... Uh, on, on, yeah, this floor instead. Just makes more sense to be able to see the room layout or the floor layout before we even get started. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. Wide shot, I guess. Sure, I could help. Uh, yeah, more bombs. A little dumpy, I guess. Dad's key, whatever. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be strong enough to do Mega Satan. I mean, if we're strong enough, I'll do it. But we got to get, have some pretty crazy flaw to be able to, you know, make me consider doing it. <laughs> get some pretty crazy damage ups for that. Okay, that's a last resort item right there. Because that is a two health up. Um, the, but the bad thing you get from Lard though is a big speed down, a hefty speed down. But at least it's extra health just in case we really need it. You know, if we're in dire need later this floor. It's, uh, it's something we can use. But I think we're okay. Isaac is the hardest boss in this, uh, in this route. And also, I, I, I say that, right, but I think that's partly to do with the fact that this floor gives you so many items that by the time you reach Isaac, he's just easy because you've got a lot more items by that point. I think it's probably the way to see it. Maybe not because he's actually, you know, actually easier. A little bit weird, this room, how it just spawns you at the bottom middle. Like, you know, we didn't enter from here, we just sort of appeared here. It's kind of strange. A judgement? Okay, we could play the judgement. Uh, what we'll do is we'll play it in here. Okay, just in case we um, get an ability to re-roll at some point, like a d6. All of our items will be in one spot. Treasure map. Not really an item we need at the moment, so I'll leave it there. In case we get a dice. Right, we can see the full map. There's no more flaws, so... There's no point. We should be okay. We, we, we've got the health, but um, I feel like our firepower is not the best. We haven't had a single, single like, proper damage up, I don't think. The only real damage up is from this. I think it's just all of our tear effects that have given us the damage.
We should be fine. Should be alright. Devil card, very nice. We'll use that on the boss. And we'll uh, take the judgment to this floor. I'll blow you up because I don't really want to mess with you. Judgment. Okay, got the same again. What are you? Wait, what? Oh, this is the one. This is the rare one. <laughs> So essentially, this is a. Uh, the, there's the butter bean and there's wait what. Wait what is the better version of it. So when you use wait what, it creates a sort of rock explosion around you, which can actually open up secret rooms and things. So if you get it on the first floor, it's actually really strong. You just find all the secret rooms, because it charges in the same room, so you don't even need to clear a room to do it. So you can check literally every wall until you find it, like every secret room. Okay, magic mush. Uh, magic mush. Magic mush. Speed down, I'll take a speed down for damage up. Look at that, we finally have a damage up. It's crazy. Our first damage up. <laughs> All because we have evil PhD. Nah, I'm not messing with you. Maybe we do. Maybe that's the choice. I think I think I think we will. Rainbow fruit cake. Why not? We're late game, we got a lot of health. We kinda need a little bit of extra extra spice in this run to keep us going. we go. So essentially Rainbow Fruitcake gives you random effects, essentially. Random tier effects. It's a little bit spooky. Because you can get exploding exploding tears, flaming tears, that sort of thing. So yeah, it's a little bit risky, but I think we're okay. Getting it floor one is probably the worst. Because the explosions can just kill you, especially if you're at really low health. But we, we should be okay. We've got decent health. We're okay. Yeah, I'll take that. And uh, now nah, I'm not doing Mega Satan today. <laughs> Unless the game gives, somehow gives us something absolutely crazy within the next couple of rooms. Uh, where was that devil, devil card actually? We'll bring that into our boss. up here somewhere. Whew. What a crazy burn. What what a what a absolutely insane run. Not for the reason you would think it's an insane run. Not insane as in good, crazy, fun, insane build, but crazy as in <laughs> diabolical, should we say? He dropped another rune. That's our third soul of Cain. That's really weird. Well, uh, yeah, I guess it's time to go into the boss now. Taking the devil card with us to use as an extra damage up. So the devil's not quite as big a damage up as the empress. But uh, 
hey, it's still a damage up. I mean, it's still doubled, right? Still a doubled effect because of Tarot Cloth. Well, we somehow made it out of here alive. <laughs> Get me out of this run. I don't want a part of this. Oh, thank you all for watching. The Binding of Isaac, Eden Streak. That was a really intense run all throughout. I felt like we were going to die at like every second, but we made it. We made it. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Remember to like and subscribe. We are currently at 220 subscribers as of recording this. Will you be able to help us make it even higher than that? Who knows? Maybe someday we'll get to a thousand. Who knows? But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And um, yeah, have a good day. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be doing another Eden run to get to number 16. Our 16th win in a row. Thanks for coming along. See you later. Goodbye.